Hello everyone, here in this video we are going to find the solution of the parabolic equation using schmidt recurrence relation. A physical example of a parabolic equation is a heat flow equation. Then we consider a rod and the ends of the rods are kept at different temperatures. For example, if the length of the rod is L, then uh, this point is 0 and this point is L. Uh, this uh, end is uh, having a temperature T0 and this tem uh, end is having the temperature TL. Initially the uh, rod is kept at, uh, the ends of the rods are kept at two extreme or different temperatures. So after a time interval, for, say for example 10 minutes, what happens? The heat or the temperature from this end starts moving here. So there will be a temperature gradient and uh, uh, so initially uh, these points have different temperature and after time term interval what happens uh, these points again have different temperature. So we are going to find the temperature of the points in this uh, rod after the time. So here we use the Schmidt uh, recurrence relation and find the uh, temperature of the rod after some time. Our problem is to find the solution of parabolic equation dou square u by dou x square minus dou u by dou t is equal to 0 given u of 0 comma t is equal to 0, u of 4 comma t is equal to 0, u of x comma t is equal to x into 4 minus x and assuming h is equal to k is equal to 1, find the values of u up to t is equal to 5. So uh, here the, uh, this is the heat flow equation. The general heat flow equation is dou square u by dou x square minus a dou u by dou t is equal to 0. So when we compare this with uh, the our equation, we get the a value as a is equal to 1. Also we have to find the intervals. Here this is the x axis position and this is the time axis t. x have limits from 0 to 4 because initially it is given as u of 0 comma t is equal to 0 and u of 4 comma t is equal to 0. First value is x, this is, this is x comma t. So first uh, x have the value from 0 to 4. So maximum value for x is 4. Now we are going to uh, divide this um, um, in uh, this x axis into intervals. The interval have values like h is equal to k is equal to 1. h is the difference be between these two points. That, that, is, that is actually we divide um, this into equal intervals. For example, the e rod in the length l we equal interval side split a yam. split a yam. But namaka paranjikina condition h is equal to k is equal to 1 anna. So, we have one interval which we split. So, maximum limit 4. So, one interval which we split. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. Likewise, t the value we have t is equal to 5. So, also, this interval we say this as h and this as this interval is k. So, k we have 1. So, and also t the value up to 5 are we can do. So maximum t the value and the t is equal to up to 5. So this is the we add the initial values. Initial values we have to add boundary values. We to the boundary value. It is given like u of 0 comma t is equal to 0. u of 0 comma t is equal to 0. So t in t the value a the ayal u of 0 comma t the value 1 2 3 4 5 a the ayal u the value in the arikim, 0 arikim. so first idu namakku enda first node enda first node namakku u of 0 comma 0 second is u of 1 comma 0 the u of 2 comma 0 this is u of 3 comma 0 this is u of 4 comma 0. 
and ingane namakku we have to uh, name idile oro idini u da value endha irikkum this is u of um, 0 comma 1 this is u of 0 comma 2 u of 0 comma 3 u of 0 comma 4 u of 0 comma 5 and likewise here u of 1 comma 1 u of 2 comma 1 u of 3 comma 1 this is u of 4 comma 1 here this is u of 1 comma 2 u of 2 comma 2 u of 3 comma 2 u of 4 comma 2 this is u of 1 comma 3 2 comma 3 u of 3 comma 3 u of 4 comma 3 here 1 comma 4 2 comma 4 3 comma 4 Okay. Here the initial uh, boundary value is given as u of 0 comma t. So, u of 0 comma t da either value on in the 0 arikim. So, uh, t 1, 2, 3, 4 and x in the value 0 where in the start of u da value in the arikim. It is equal to 0. Next u of 4 comma t is equal to 0 that is 4 comma t the value 1 2 3 4 5 and dial namak in the 0 arikim. so here the value is 0 0 so these values we got so these are the boundary values next is initial condition so initial condition namak we know that x is equal to i h and T is equal to I K, uh, J K. Sorry, this is this is equal to J K. T is equal to J K. Abam uh, H and the value namak tanda dehne ya H and K the value are uh, taken as one. So when H is equal to one, uh, H is equal to K is equal to one. What happens? S X becomes I and T becomes J. Now. This is initial condition. Now. Initial condition in the u of x comma t is equal to x into 4 minus x. Sorry, there is a small mistake. x comma 0, u of x comma 0 is equal to x into 4 minus x. So, this is our initial condition. Now, we are going to substitute the values of x. Say for example, we have to e x one value. That is u of 1 comma 0 is equal to 1 into 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3. So, this point have the value 3. Now, second point is 2, x is equal to 2. So, 2 comma 0 is equal to 2 into 4 minus 2 which is equal to 4. So, this point have the value 4. Next is u of 3 comma 0 is equal to 3 into 4 minus 3 which is equal to 3. So, here the value is 3. So, now we have the initial values and the boundary values. So, with this we are going to use the Schmidt relation and we are going to solve the find the solution of each and every points um, till t is equal to 5. Schmidt recurrence uh, equation is u of i comma j plus 1 is equal to lambda u of i comma i plus 1 comma plus 1 minus 2 lambda u of i comma j plus lambda into u of i minus 1 comma j. So, this is the Schmidt recurrence relation, Schmidt recurrence relation.
here uh, we have lambda is equal to k by h square a. Pum, uh, k da value, h da value, a da value namak ariyam. So, substituting that we get lambda is equal to 1. So, we are going to substitute this value here. So, let this equation be 1. We are going to substitute the value of lambda here. So, we get the equation as u of i comma j plus 1 is equal to u of i plus 1 comma j the lambda 1 in the bottom minus u of i comma j plus u of i minus 1 comma j. So, this is our main equation. We are going to use this equation and either in amakku oro x um, t da value substitute edu kodutthu oro u da value namakku kandu udikin na irikki. So, we use this equation and find the value of each and every points till t is equal to 5. So, first we are going to find u of 1, 1, u of 1 comma 1. So, here 1, 1 out on i should be equal to 1 and j is equal to 0. So, u of 1 comma 1 is equal to u of 1 plus 1, 2, 2 comma 0 minus u of 1 comma 0 plus u of 0 comma 0. So, u of 2 comma 0 the value in the 4. Initial values this is equal to 4. So, 4 minus u of 1 comma 0. 1 comma 0 is 3. 3 plus u of 0 comma 0 which is equal to 0. So, we get the value as 1. So, u of 1 comma 1 is equal to 1. So, here this is equal to 1. Next is u of 2 comma 1, u of 2 comma 1. So, for that i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 0. So, u of 2 comma 1 is equal to u of 3 comma 0 minus u of 2 comma 0 plus u of 1 comma 0. u of 3 comma 0 is 3, u of 2 comma 0 is 4, u of 1 comma 0 is 3. So, we have the value 2. So, u of 2 comma 1 is 2. Next, we are going to find this point u of 3 comma 1. For this, i is equal to 3, j is equal to 0. So, u of 3 comma 1 is equal to u of 4 comma 0 minus u of 3 comma 0 plus u of 2 comma 0. 4 comma 0 value is 0 and 3 comma value 0 value is 3 plus u of 2 comma 0 value is 4. So, we have 1. So, u of 3 comma 1 is 1. So, this value is again 1. Next, we are going to find this row value u of 1 comma 2, u of 1 comma 2. For this, 
i have the value 1 and j have value 1. So, u of 1 comma 2 is u of 2 comma 1 minus u of 1 comma 1 plus u of 0 comma 1 u of 2 comma 1 value is 2, u of 1 comma 1 is 1 and u of 0 comma 1 is 0 which is equal to 1. So, u of 1 comma 2 is 1. So, this is 1. Next, u of 2 comma 2. For this we get we take i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 1, u of 2 comma 2 is equal to u of 3 comma uh, 3 comma um, 1 sorry 3 comma 1 minus u of 2 comma 1 plus u of 1 comma 1. u of 3 comma 1 is 1, 2 comma 1 is 2 and 1 comma 1 is 1. So, this is equal to 0. Next, u of 3 comma 2. For this i is equal to 3 and j is equal to 1. u of 3 comma 2 is equal to u of 4 comma 1 minus u of 3 comma 1 plus u of 2 comma 1. 4 comma 1 is 0 and 3 comma 1 is 1 and 2 comma 1 is 2. So, this is 1. In such a way we find the, so this is equal to 1. So, in such a way we find the values of u for each point till t is equal to 5. So, Using this equation, we found out the values of u at each and every nodes and uh, we got the value like this. Here the solution is uh, not stable because lambda here we have uh, found out that lambda is equal to 1. To get a stable solution, lambda should be uh, less than or equal to half. Only when lambda is less than half, we get a stable solution. So, in this case, uh, the solution is not a stable one. Thank you.